responsible. Hallelujah. Sometimes when I try to count the blessings of God, I go short of words and I don't know what to say. I just keep shouting. Oh, oh God, you're so kind. God, you're so beautiful. God, you're so awesome. God, you're so wonderful. He who makes a way out of nowhere. He who does that which seems impossible. We've come to return our glory to you, oh God. Just as I with our own dream. But I sing it with all your heart. Oh,
song says How can I describe A God that you can never explain A God that is indescribable Just like now you can tell how Papa is That tall handsome man That has pierced white and black that, that's always, that's very cute and dresses fine. But this can this is our God. You can't describe him. You can't give description. The more you try to understand him, the deeper you go into the, the revelation of who he is truly. He's a God that, that we can know all about. We can just know all about him. A God that is so merciful, so kind. Sing the song. Sing oh.
Identify this corpse if it's your son. I prophesy that such bargain from Peter Fell that has to do with me as a trial of faith be cancelled. Yeah. And I use myself as a point of contact. Pray for every one of us that is here today. You shall not be called to the hospital to identify the death of any of your children. I prophesy that such a trial shall not come to us. Lord, thank you. Show my son mercy. Show Diamond mercy. And show the sons of everyone here mercy. In the name of Jesus. And everybody say amen. amen. Lift up your two hands unto the Lord. Jesus no Jesus Jesus Jesus, Jesus, Open your mouth, sing out. Only in a warrior. 
Okiyi ne bugbe Abakure sirike Echeto besike Can I hear you sing? Clap your hands sing Angora angora ndue Oh Jesus Eh hey, Jesus Oh Jena Bioso Abakure Zurike Angora Angora Ntue Anguro Biachoyi Oh Keleya Keleya Nobese Keleke Sing out, sing out You're not clapping as I'm singing Can I hear you singing loud? Clap your hands loud Jesus, no bese, onye mwem, abakure surike, eche to besike, odomiri besaida, agika na kwa mwae, wako na mwosara, Jesus, 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 O Nyem Jemonoe, O Nyem Jejaga, O Nye Naboria, Abakure Zurike, Keleya Keleya Nobese, Keleya Keleya Nobese, Kele Jesus Nobese, Jesus, Aka Naboria, Come on your hands. Aka. Come on, Aka, Aka. You're not clapping hands. Keleya, Keleya, no bese. Keleya, Keleya, no bese. Kele Jesus, no bese. Jesus, onye ne memma. Agon nechemba Wokiyi nebogwe Habakure surike Echeto besike Jesus 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 Jesus, Keleya, Keleya, no base. Come on, I want you to clap your hands and sing it and dance it. Don't let these two men take your place before the Lord. Come on. Jesus, Jesus, Okere, Mameba. Abakure surike, echeto besike, onye mje jaga, onye mje mwenwe, kele ya kele ya no beze, kele ya kele ya no beze, kele Jesus no beze, Jesus idema. Give God a shout out for everybody. Come on. I said, give God a shout out for everybody, please. Lift your voice and shout hallelujah. Revelations chapter 12, verse 11. Revelations chapter 12, verse 11. How many of you are blessed here today? Are you blessed? Revelation chapter 12. I want us to stand and read the scripture out and loud and clear. Loud and clear. Stand on your feet and let's do it. Have you gotten it? Yes. Keyboardist, let me hear it softly. Let me hear your keyboardist.
Revelation chapter 12 verse number 11 Can you read it together with me? Want to go? What? Who? By the blood of the Lamb of God. And by the word, by the word of the testimony. And they love not their lives unto death. See that if you can. Are you ready to flow with me this morning? Can I get a co-preacher here this morning? Is, can I get a co-preacher here this morning? Two days ago, I went to service my car at Coal Camp. You know. And as I was driving back, I had to drive towards New Layout, which is a normal road. Getting close to Queen's School in Ugo, I saw these policemen. They were not wearing uniform. And they were standing there stopping cars. And they were searching them. And when I came close, no, no, in front of WTC, that road using going to the Anglican church inside WTC. So they stopped me and uh, I told the guy, come, 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 come. The guy refused to come. He said, park your car. You must park your car there. And one other young man came close to me. I said, are you new in town? He said, somehow. I looked at him and I said, you are not new in town. He laughed. He said, but I can park the car first of all. Park the car first of all. So I parked. And the guy that was checking me was justified. Because in front of my car, there was no plate number. I had a Mercedes emblem on it. So I smiled. And I greeted him. I said, good evening. He said to me, keep yourself by the side. Then I laughed. I knew there was trouble. And I began to rejoice inside it. I like trouble. And first of all, I said, God, forgive me for breaking the law. And I said, blood shall speak for me now. And when I said that, I told the man, I said, I am Bishop of God. The man said to me, nonsense. Come out of the car. No, 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 no. Don't get angry with him. Everything is not used and anointed to intimidate people. When you're wrong, you're wrong. So, when he said, nonsense, come out of the car. I said, I will make sense to you today. When I came, I hit the man. I said, I will make sense to you today. So, when I came out, he said, where is the plate number? I said, there is behind he said, what about the one in front? I said, it's not there. You know it's not there. Why are you asking me? It's not there. He said, he said you are who self? A bishop. And I had a doctor. Evangelist. Who can whims? The man now said, all you pastors, nobody will do all this GBT while you are everywhere. So I, then anointing came over me. My friends, I listened to me. The blood started talking. Then while I was standing there, that's your friend that works generator, that drives an ash clock car that lives off Ugui Road. Pack they said, ah, daddy, what's going on? I said, there's no problem. And I said, ah, Ugo Wims. I said, there's no problem. Ah, people were running around, running. people gathered there. And suddenly, a man of God came out from the and came to where I was standing with this past, with this policeman harassing my testimony. And went on his knees. Raised
raised his two hands up. He said, I've tried to reach you. I've called Pacifying him to give me your number. He refused to give me your number. I said, what are you talking? You have my number. I don't do protocols. You know me. He said, but I've been trying to reach you to present myself to you. He pulled his trousers, two trousers up. He said, look at my leg. I looked at the leg. He said, you know you told me while I was on the road that my leg, when my leg was rotting, smelling, bringing out water, you, I wanted you to help me go to the hospital. You said to me, I will not give you money. And I asked him, what about your church and your ministry? He said, I'm tired of these things. I know they do pre preaching again. Nothing. I said, okay. And the minute the, told me, the Holy Ghost said to bring him back to the ministry. I said to the young man, I said, if you will be in the church on Sunday and mount this pulpit and preach, you will be healed of that sickness. Reverend Emma Edison. So he came to church, some of you. Yeah, yeah. He couldn't wear shoes, he was wearing slippers. And I gave him a microphone to stand on his pulpit to preach. He finished preaching and left a dusty money. He said, do you pray for me? I said, no, no, no. I heard the word of God that said to me, said to you, that if you mount on this stage and preach, this disease will go. He said to me, but man, God, you know they said they want to cut my leg. I said, I've cut it already. Nothing will happen. He said, look at my leg. Everything is healed. When he lifted his trouser, the policeman saw the scars all over our body, all over his body that was totally healed. Do you know what happened, ladies and gentlemen? The policemen went on their knees and demanded prayers. They said to me, that God that healed this man, you are not a fake man of God. You are highly anointed. I want you to prophesy to me, prophesy to me. Tell me what will happen to me. If God could cure this disease, cure this kind of leprous leg, that God will take this in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, I told at the man, the one that was heavy, I looked and said, you would have died two days after today if I didn't meet you. Get it down, something softer. I said to him, if I didn't see you today, you stop me. You would have been shot dead two days from today. He went backwards. He said, my son had a bad dream about me. That I was killed two days from today. I turned to the other guy and said, look at you. They have already posted you out of town. And you're not happy with the post. But are, before I leave here, there will be a call that you're not going out for posting. Ladies and gentlemen, right there, I have something to preach here this morning. When I was hearing testimonies and testimonies and testimonies, I knew that the message was in order. Ladies and gentlemen in the house, I prophesy to you today that no man will kill your testimony. I said no man will kill your testimony. No woman will kill your testimony. No power of darkness will mess up your testimony. Because your testimony is the strongest property you have. It's the greatest power you have. Ladies and gentlemen, I came here this morning because I want God to give you your own testimony. You are going to be pregnant of your testimony. Someone say, Lord! Open your mouth and shout, Lord! Can you shout, Lord? Say, Lord! It's my turn to get my testimony. Never wanted to rubbish me, and God came and polished me with a testimony. The man who said to me, "Not doing all this process, where they steal people money," opened his mouth and said, "Pray for me." Went on his knees. I know that some of you have turned that. You are, you are a, a, a paper to get a promotion, to get a job. And somebody is testifying against you. Somebody wants to rubbish you, give round remuneration. Today, I decree and declare that your testimony will overcome all. The Bible says, and they overcame them by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. There is something that your testimony can do for you. Your testimony can open door for you. 
Your testimony can heal somebody. Your testimony can encourage somebody. Your testimony can make you become great in life. Don't eat your testimony. Open your mouth and tell your testimony. Because the mama said, Testimony. You know, this lady was sitting in front. I read from the front seat. Come. I removed this lady from the front seat. She might feel embarrassed. It's not my business. How she will feel about it. But I was told that she was somewhere and they were discussing, people were discussing what happened in our church. And she said with her mouth, these things know they happen at all, at all. <laughs> she came to this church this morning to prove whether God is speaking to me. Mm -hmm. Are they like? Hold on. Hold on. She does not believe these prophecies because she has suffered a lot in the hand of many prophets and prophetesses. So she does not believe anybody. So when she came, she came to investigate. She came with a doubt. She came with, let me go and prove them wrong. Today! Today! The devil wants to kill our testimony in her heart. When she has a load of troubles in her life, container loads of troubles, see that everybody. She had a lot. And when she came to a place that God will solve her problem, she heard story about what God does, what God can do. <coughs> and the thing she heard was about the testimony of Davidson of one million they were sharing somewhere. And she says, when I came in, the Lord showed him I removed her from the front seat. So that nobody will remove the fire I came to church with. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this was where she was sitting. I removed her to the back and brought my daughter in front. I brought those who believe in me without reservations. Not those who came to New Chalam. Whenever I go to a place to preach, I watch the faces of the people. Anyone whose mind is not fixed on me, I change the person. She's shocked that I'm telling her that. But she has been forgiven. She is like Nathaniel. She's like Nathaniel in the Bible. You know in the Bible, Nathaniel. When they told Nathaniel the things that Jesus did, he said, can anything good come out of come out of where? You know why? They are used to the things that happen in Nazareth. Nothing good, nothing sweet, nothing beautiful comes out of Nazareth. In fact, the word Nazareth means where they heap dust being dirty things. Refuse dump. That's the meaning of Nathaniel. So how can you come and tell them that there's somebody clean up refuse in people's life in another country? And you say he came from Nazareth. It's not possible. And when they told Jesus, that Jesus came and looked at him. He said, This is a man without God. And the man said, When did you meet me? How did you know me? He said, When you were under the fig tree, Victory fig tree represents arguments, controversies, over questioning. When you were sitting under the fig tree, I saw you. <laughs> my, nana, so, my daughter, are you back? How was it? We missed you. Congratulations. You know, she just got married. By blessings. And she has my blessings. She's a good lady. I know pastors and elders, elders will be saying, you will try my cable before Nanaga. So you just know why you know that say abunyam can go, but in the elder you will not see them. In your men they will not come. 
So me I come on my own. You are blessed, my child, for life because you honored me. Since hunters have known how to shoot without missing, I elected the bird has learned to fly without betting. Since elders don't know how to honor people who honor them, how you go and change narratives? Until they change, I change. I'm waiting for you people. Oh. Thanksgiving don't begin to come. Oh. I'm going to do like what I do last year in December. Oh. Uncle Emeka, I'll be watching you people uh, Thanksgiving, this, this one. If it's not what looks like you, I will, I'll tell God, reject this one. People must, must be forced to do good. Give me anointing oil. Are you following your friends? Look up. Don't worry. At least, I'm a man of God, okay? Yes, sir. They just stay where you are. Kneel down, put your leg down. When this kind of people, I will tell them to kneel down. Or some happen at one hour. Now I get boss about our money are roll. Bring me anointing oil. Come here. Come. Come and pray for her. Sir, she will know. Say this anointing no beauty on my head. What is said to me is said to all. See how she's looking at her. Because I see in your heart now. Only you trust that bit, baby. What if you cook it? I'm not too much anything. Don't praise me. Do you want me to pray for you? Then you can't get healed. You can't get delivered if she doesn't pray for you. Trouser. Okay. There's nothing you You see what religion can cause? The Bible is not a religious book. Are you listening to me? It has no business with the religion. Bible. Bible is the book of a royal family. Are you listening to me? Bible is the book of what? Royal family. Have you ever asked yourself a question? Why did God call Jesus King of Kings? You know what it means? Come on, what is it? I will tell you why Jesus is called King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Bible is the book of a kingdom of kings. It has no business with Christianity or Islam. It is an abomination for you to compare Bible with Quran. It's an abomination. It's an insult to compare Bible. Quran is the word of Prophet Moses. What's his name? Muhammad. But Bible is the word of God, not even Jesus. God's word. So, the religion will mess you up. I tell you, you're a good woman. I don't know who you are. You're a good. Who brought you to this church? Eh? Your first day. How did you know here? Okay, don't bother us. You're a good woman. I'm happy you're in church again today. Keep coming, oh. Maybe when you get leave and you go run, it's happy to see. Just sit down, my daughter. You are a good woman. Sit down. All who couldn't talk about you, they could remember this week. Bet me, bet me. You will see. All who couldn't talk, they could remember Nishiwanya. Onya on Richard Gogi, Richard Go, it's name a business about way. Bogi in a draw. Watch and see. Hey!
Informer. Oh, what for Shh. Uh, go back to your seat. Go back to your seat. We'll talk to later. I will pray for you now next Sunday if I see you. Go to the seat. Go back to your seat. I don't want to waste my time. Go back to your seat. I think I came here to joke. Never succeed. The Bible said in John chapter 12, verse 10 and 11. He said, And the elders and the chief priests came together and said, Why do you want to allow Lazarus to be alive? Don't you know that it is the testimony of Lazarus that is making everybody to follow that man, Jesus? If we allow him to be alive, many people will be convinced to follow Jesus and they say let us kill Lazarus I prophesy that no man will kill your result no man will kill your testimony because when your testimony is intact when your testimony which is your reputation is intact it will draw more people to you it will draw more customers to you. It will draw more friends to you. It will bring you a lot of businesses. So lift your right hand and say, Father God. Some of them are even sitting there. I'm sorry for you. When I'm prophesying. Someone say, Father God. Father God. Open your mouth and say, Father God. Father God. From now in short, I decree and declare that my good image, my good reputation, testimony in the heart of men about me shall not be blown away like chaff before the wind before the eyes of people open your mouth and say lord open your mouth and say lord 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 let not to kill my testimony clap your hands and pray that prayer my testimony will not die my reputation will not die my image will not die my approval will not be messed up Open your mouth and clap your hands and pray it. My testimony, my reputation. He said, in the name of Jesus Christ, every second of your life, there's something good has happened to you or through you. The evil one will never be happy. He'll be looking for what he will use to destroy that good thing that good testimony, that good reputation so that it will not produce more testimonies. I am born again, huh? I don't mess around with anything. He will not bring people. You see the born again then? Go on. He will not bring over some guests in a chase we won't believe any day with them. He will line all of them up. All of them will start to do what? To chase you. What are they planning to? To destroy your testimony. There are places you have bragged. What your God can do. They will say, hey, go and join the I will make sure that I smashed it up. He will raise people that are called strange children. Bible says, their mouth speaketh falsehood and their right hand do it what? Iniquity. He will raise them. He said, follow this one. Follow after this one. Follow up. Follow up. Kill him, kill him, miss it up, miss him up. When they know the testimony of the young girl who was in the house of Naaman, who told Naaman, I know my prophet, he will heal you without charging you penny. He doesn't take it from anybody. He's not like those prophets who charge you money. Just come and meet him. Naaman came, met him. The man they called the prophet didn't even care whether the man was there. No, he just said, Go and dip yourself into that thing. You want to turn my image to dirty water. Dip yourself inside that dirty water. Seven times will be here. He said, What about the other? He said, No, that one. What it will cost you to swim dirty water? There are some things that will cost you something. And the man got healed. 
And he was going. Naaman said, let me prove. Let me go and mess up his image. He went and said, ah, as you left, some people came to see my yoga. He said, I should collect bread and food from you. Why? Why is he doing that? Satan entered him so that he can destroy the testimony that was said ahead of time that this prophet does not steal, does not cheat, does not do it. And when he collected it, he received a gift called leprosy. Not just for himself and for his children, children, children. Devil can raise people. He said, ah, that girl, he has no boyfriend, doesn't mess up. He said, eh, okay, no problem. He will use one small boy around you. The boy will come and become your servant. Get close to you, everything. The only, you will not, you are better, better, will not do anything with the boy. You, that you didn't do anything with the boy does not mean that your name will be intact. Bible says, flee from evil appearances. You know, commit a move, but you have an appearance that is the spelling wrong testimony for you. He will make you, you like that person, you like that girl, you like him to be around you 24 hours everywhere. That what is he doing to, to kill that testimony that you have had many years back? Let's rise up and say, Father God, I decree that my testimony will not be dented. When prophet Ken Safadi was in Nigeria, we went to look for a job. He was a top man in Nepal. So when they gave the job, they said we should clear roads against uh, trees and uh, grass that grow, that touches uh, cable, high tension. And when they brought the job, they signed it. And my brother, me, Reverend Ken Safadi, he's my yoga. He imparted grace, prophetic grace inside. He's in, he lives in Chicago. So, you know what happened, friends? The man that was given the job, that was a man that he himself employed in Nepal. And I said, you know, we know you for many years, Oga. You cannot cheat us, you cannot tell us lie. What we'll do is that uh, you pad it for us. You just pad it for us. Do a little lie, let's get this job. Remember they said, and they said to me, we know you cannot cheat, you can't eat anybody's money, you cannot lie to us. Then I said, okay, we'll do this contract, the pardon, this one you add on top, you give it to us, you can take the rest. Case looked at me, I looked at him. I, looked at him. I, said, I said to him, sir, they already said that you can't lie, and they are telling you, lie. Case got angry, deadly man, and laid down the table, I said, you are removed from this seat. You are not qualified to be here. I trained you, raised you, employed you. And you are telling me I should go and lie. To damage my 30 something years as working with a clean slate in Nepal. So you want to destroy it. Now you will not work here. We left. Two days later, the man was fired, arrested for pardon of contract. So KC men would have joined. We know you say you know they do this. But uh, join or uh, one prophet said to me, said, do you know why a man of God you don't get too much money to finish your bill? I said, no. He said, you don't charge money. You charge, I decide to collect money from people. When miracle happens like this, that's how you get the money. I looked at him. I said, I've been in the ministry when you were in primary school. I entered ministry when you were in primary school. So you're coming to teach me ministry now. That I was in where you were in primary one. I went to service my car to present the fortune to do my boy in MLA. One young man came with a beautiful white Mercedes car. And as I was parking, the boy said, Ah, and there, and there. And there I said, Moto, ha. Moto, fa, ala, la, chaka, moto, and I came out from the car. I asked the boy, I said, You see you? He said, Yes. You were in nursery school when I bought this car. Nursery. How old are you? He told me, I said, my nursery, yes. My I said, you were in nursery school when I bought it. He said, sorry, sir. What can I mean if I I said, eh. The Bible says, speak no evil against dignitaries. For the things that has no wing will carry it to them. Today, 
restore back your testimony. This amen is not in order. I restore back your reputation. I restore back your certification. I restore back your approvals. I decree and declare that where you were disapproved because of one story, today may God turn it around. Let God turn it around. So I say, Lord, heal my testimony. Put your hands on your head and be quiet. All eyes close. Hey! Amara nigeme, nigeme, go be the mama re. Amakwaram nigeme, nigeme, go be the mama. Amara nigeme oh, chiova geme. Go be the mama le only keyboard. I'm a guaram nige me, nige me. Go be the gema. I'm a ram no gema, no gema. Go be the mama. I'm a guaram no gema, no gema. Go be the gema. Asim na maram no gema. One Jesus, Okay, when did no ye Jesus bo mo na kibu de de Jesus e bili mi ri ni fufe na no luya amaram no ye Jesus bo mo ke durum no do amaram ya koma o ke durai no do one name amaram. No ye jis bomu keduru no do ye believe me re no fufe na no lu ye o tu mata no ne lukume o na kwa kwa u bochi ni le kulie mata he turned your mirror. Who bought you? Nile Abogene. This song is for somebody that has been crying and weeping. As him no two water, no ne lukume. Oh, na kwa kwa. Who bought you? Nile Bilie Mata. He turned your mirror. Who bought you? Nile Abogene. Le Ebupu o meem nile Site na koko ka Mara yube Enimle Ngozi sinelu Obya wo Christ Kara pundi naraya, ma konye rike bo mo chineke. Rumbwe bi ebi, kaya pundi naraya, abani konye rike ibo mo chineke. Rumbwe bi, oh hallelujah, hallelujah. Hosanna, Nironye Wem, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hosanna, Nironye 
Mbwe bili miri Nke ndugi na magari Mbo chichiri bachiri usogi Le anya nigwe Ikano kwa olusi Yesi mwam Atula Ibozo Ole Nihi Ikamjiri We wa Le Abam onye we Gi Nihi Nika Yi neche wa mwe gi Yesi mwam Atula Sister Joy, I want to come to you again. Come here. I started a word of prophecy on your head last Sunday. And when I left here, God rebuked me so badly that I did not finish it. And God began to bring it more and more to me. And um, it has come upon me again and I've lost joy. Wouldn't you like to live in Europe? Talk to me. You would love to live in Europe. Why don't you marry the person that is coming to marry you from outside this country? Because you know you love me so much. And you would like to marry someone that dresses like Papa, looks sharp like Papa. But okay, for if I don't like okay. We win soon. Now, but choose the person that will marry you will take you out of this country. And the person I'm talking right now is almost 40 to 42 years old. Listen, the Bible says that the God of this, or repeat after me, God, God of this one, of this one. I'm, making, I'm not making sense. Eh? I'm not making sense. The God of this world, say it. The God of this world. You've blinded their eyes. Blinded them. That you will not see, will not see. the glorious light of the gospel. When we finish service, you come to my office. I will sit down and cast something out of you. Please look at me. You can't run away from me. I hope you know. You know it's not possible. Anything I like, I do to you. I give back to you. You're my child. I don't give a damn how you feel. But I will do the work of him who sent me while it is day. For night comes. Imamaya, Imamaya, be a good, be a, be a. Je bota joy, bota joy. Ogwe your friend, muna bobiya. Are you still friends? Are you friends to joy? Are you friends to each other? I just got two of you. Now why each other is you? Did you hear me? Now where? Come on. Now where? Maka onu ba omu de is you every day. There's a rope that will cut, and when the rope cuts, eh? I will drink on two of you, brother. You hear me? In Liverpool, and you have a friend again. Come. Would you come? Stand before them. Stand here. You brought her to church. Eh? brother to a church and you want her to be believing prophetic words is it not true hmm? and you believe 
when you argue with what I'm saying, his own spirit man will be saying, This man, I want this girl is Yoku. I will not put her in a papier de Yoku. I can dream before you put her on the Yoku. Ah, she can match. Is Yoku. Ajoy. Ukwa Rogia or Da or Rogia. Marriage, I want to It shall not be your portion because you know how much I love you. I don't know about teaching at this altar. You know, there's nothing I don't talk with you. Am I lying? I know inside you are thinking, I say, Hey, Papa, I won't tell you privately so I can have witnesses. Go back to your seats. What do you want from God? Come, my daughter. You know why I called you out? You took a decision that I must talk to you today. Eh? Yes, sir. Eh? And if I don't talk to you today, you will not be happy. Yes, sir. You will not be happy. Eh. What do you want? Oh, you want to listen? I'll give you a comment. What do you want from God? The thing you want to ask that you're asking for is not the real thing. It's something that leads to it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, in your heart, don't say it out. When you say the real thing, I will say amen. Now say You are not even coming near it. Yes, Lord. Thus says the Lord, I will clean you up and I will make you fit to sit in the high temples of princes and I will give to you that which was taken away from your mother does that make sense? Yes, sir. what was taken away from your mother God said to me he will give it to you does that make sense now? that is the main thing you should be asking God for not these other things you are asking for restoration has come you listen to me and that which was taken away has come back. You listen to me? He has given it back to you. You'll be very happy. You'll be very, very happy. This is the last tears you will shed in your life. The last tears. You will, not, you will not shed tears towards that again and God is going to restore back your prestige. A lost dignity. A lost boldness. Coming back to you. The men and people will not look at you and cajole and laugh at you again. Did you hear me? Nobody will laugh at you again. They will not cajole you anymore. They will not look down on you again because he has restored it. Say, Spirit of God, sing a song for me. Anything. How great thou art, how great thou art, then sing my soul, my say, if you're going to be, how great thou art, how great happy now. Something just, I saw here that went to your heart and pulled something out and threw it away. The heaviness in your heart has gone. Am I right? It's gone. Relax. Give me water. Give me water first. Oh, 
put it for me. Can I give you this water to drink? When you finish drinking this water, go and run a comprehensive test on yourself. You find out that everything in you is pure and clean. brought you to this church? Eh? She said, you brought her? Go and be happy. Jesus is Lord. I said, Jesus is Lord. Can you wave your hands unto the Lord? And look at the neighbor. I said, neighbor, I see you in God's program. There's a lifting for you. How are you? Who brought you to church? Mama brought you to church. I'll give one one. I'll one one. You went one? Or one? on the shoulder I felt there's something crawling all over my body and the Holy Ghost told me that something is also moving in her body but that she's going to be free from it Amen. thank you Lord God has shown you kindness walked into your dream now. Right? As I'm talking to you, when I was there, I just saw myself in your dream. And inside that your dream, I see a lady that is in a house. And that house is around Ababanike. They live around Ababanike. And in that house, when you're about to get into that house, there's, there's a house like this. Eh? And the house where you're going is behind the house here. Am I right? When you cross that house, there's a lady that is about 62, 65 years old there. Am I right? Yes. Am I right? And you want to pack out of there. Because I see you in your dream. I see you fighting with dogs. I see you fighting with dogs. But you will not pack out. The woman will pack out. Listen, don't doubt what I'm saying. I'm you are not packing out. The woman will pack out. Because you have a good heart. Come on, stretch your hands. This left hand. Do it. Do you still have pains there? Eh? Okay. Because as I was going, I saw pain. Lift your hands up, everybody, and say, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Give God a clap offering, everybody, please. Now tell your neighbor, neighbor, my testimony will not crack again. My testimony will not crack again. In Jesus' name. Sit down. I've taken your time today. Are you still happy? This prophetic service will continue heavily on Wednesday. On Wednesday, in the evening time, five. Hallelujah. The way I feel in myself, I can go seat to seat today, but I need to go to Papa Monica's birthday today and eat rice and drink champagne. Are you, what rice I'm going to drink there? Eh? And this Glenn for this 21 or 18. I've changed my mind. I'll drink Glen Fiddich for Papa's birthday. <laughs> Amen. These are religious people. May God help you. I want to take our prophetic offering. It's not by force. It is whosoever will let him come. 
prophetic offering of a thousand just come forward it's not by force I receive this prophetic offering and I command the blessings of the prophetic to be released unto you and may God grant unto you financial open heavens and get you established in every area of life in Jesus beautiful name I pray we thank you Lord because you've answered we'll give you glory we'll give you honor we'll give you praise and everybody shout a big amen Monday can you do me a favor can you do me a favor I want you and your wife to be coming to church on time if you do that favor for me I'll be happy God bless you drop it at the altar this Wednesday is going to